thanks so much for joining me. In this video, we're going to um, explore a few different techniques for releasing tension in the lower back. It's one of the biggest requests I get, neck and shoulder relief and low back, okay? And um, I think the best thing that we can do to release tension in the low back is to bring awareness to our breath in that area. And it's usually the easiest way to access it is in a prone position, some sort of position where we can feel um, our belly against something, okay? And then we can receive breath into the low back. And there's a gazillion techniques. I'm just going to visit a few, okay? So you might find it helpful to have a couple of bolsters, blankets, um, but truly a way to start out is just on the belly. Okay, so if this is comfortable for you and you tend to have tension in your low back, this is very worthy, okay, to explore. So you first wanna set this up to have as much space within your body as possible. Okay, so take each leg, one leg at a time, okay? Lift it, internally rotate it, reach it away and lower. And then do the same thing. So we're creating space here. And then using the upper body here to lengthen and then just release. Okay, so you just relax, release tension, release the gripping, the tongue, throat, and jaw. You want this to be the most comfortable position possible. So it, you can do whatever feels best for your hands. And you wanna breathe through your nose as much as you can. So the key here is, can you feel breath moving into the sides of your low back around the kidney area or, or those specific spots where you tend to carry tension. Do you feel the breath expanding the sides evenly? And can you release tension along the shoulders, neck, the face? This is the beginning Okay, so bringing breath into any area that's tense, okay? But specifically here for the low back, if you can feel your low back receiving breath, then you are starting already here to have the journey of, at a minimum, nurturing, okay, the tender area. Uh, maybe even having the awareness to be able to heal it, okay? Because the more we can get breath into the area, then the more aware we are in how we move throughout our day and what may be compressing it, okay? And then creating a sense of lightness and being able to get the breath into the low back even when we're moving around, sitting, all the things that we do. So that is just a prone position on our belly. You can also access this in child's pose. Okay, so I like to do this with um, some bolsters, with the knees out to the sides, bolsters in between. Okay, and I'm trying to get the bolster, right? Trying to get my belly over the bolster. And you could rest on one side of your face, okay? I just wanna make sure you can hear me. But um, really, again, so it's that the belly is against something, okay? Therefore, we're going to be aware and feel if breath comes into the low back or if it's not. Because many of us throughout our day are more of chest breathers. You know, the breathing is shallow. We're not breathing in a calm okay, way that's going to decrease tension. And so this part of our body gets neglected. So we wanna, you know, take time to really, at a minimum, you know, just be aware of it. And then with our awareness, try to assist. That's what these things are, just techniques to assist the breath. It's very calming, okay? So you can, this might be, you know, the, the pose you enjoy. I'm just gonna show one more. And this is where you just put the um, support, okay, firm blanket support across trying to make sure I don't get out of the view here, but across the pelvis, okay? 
So it's, it's grounding the thigh bones up into the hip joints. And, and you want to adjust things until you're like, oh, okay, this feels good. This feels good. And again, just release. Letting go and surrendering. Wherever we're holding tension, we're gripping, right? We're, we're just like clinging, okay? And with that clinging, that gripping, breath, blood flow, it's not going to move as efficiently as we need it to. And then we feel tight and compressed and congested. So the more we can unlock it, and in the unlocking, direct the breath into the area, it's, it's like magic except that it's not magic, okay? It's a very accessible technique that you can do anytime, okay? So just finding the right position. Once you know what you're looking for, then there are so many options, okay? It's just that when we're upright, it's harder to feel if the breath is getting back there. And you can place your hands, Okay, and the, at the belly, at the back, at the sides. But you want this to not be a muscular effort. You want it to be more of just receiving, surrendering. And then when we come out of it feeling lighter, more spacious, the muscles can engage, the supporting muscles can engage in an effective way, not feeling locked, inaccessible okay but feeling that they can they can engage and support the length the space and the lightness so one technique okay of many okay many 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 right but the most important thing to releasing your low back tension is finding length finding space and allowing the breath to flow into that area unhindered and that is true for any part of our body where we're feeling tense, okay? So I hope that this is helpful. I hope you have happy, happy low backs. I would love to hear from you. Namaste.